I'm Badal Kumar and here is an example based on chain rule. Find dy dx at the indicated value of x. y equals to 3 u square minus u plus 1 and u is equal to square root of x, x equals to 1. So the indicated value is x equals to 1. So to begin with, we should actually find the values at x equals to 1. What is u equal to at x equals to 1, right? So if I substitute 1 here, we know u is square root of x. If x equals to 1, so if x equals to 1, then it implies that u equals to square root of 1, which is 1. Now if u is 1, what is y? So we know y is 3u square minus u plus 1. And if x equals to 1, then y is equals to 3 minus 1 plus 1, which is 3, right? So initial conditions given to us are that when x equals to 1, let's rewrite. When x equals to 1, u equals to 1 and y equals to 3, right? We may use these values. It helps to write these values since you do not have to write the derivative in terms of x. Okay, so that's kind of first step, right? Now what we will do is, we'll find derivatives. We're given y equals to 3u square minus u plus 1. We can differentiate this function with respect to u. So dy du will be equals to 6u minus 1. Similarly, we'll differentiate the other function which is u equals to square root of x. We can differentiate this function with respect to x. So we get du dx as equals to 1 over 2 square root of x. What we need to find is dy dx. Applying the chain rule, we can say that dy dx is equals to dy du times du dx. Now dy du has been calculated as 6u minus 1. That's equation 1. du dx is 1 over 2 square root 2. We'll substitute these values here. So we can write dy dx as equals to 6u minus 1 times du dx, which is 1 over 2 square root x. Correct? We need to find the value at indicated value, which is x equals to 1. So dy dx at x equals to 1 will be 6 times, what is u at 1? When x is 1, u is 1. So we replace that by 1 minus 1 times 1 over 2 and what is x? x is given to us as 1 so square root of 1 right so now we can evaluate this value by multiplying 6 minus 1 is 5 so we get 5 and over 2 right 5 by 2 so the answer is 5 over 2 so we can write down our answer as dy dx at x equals to 1 is equal to 5 over 2, right? So that is how you could actually solve such questions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thanks, thanks for watching. All the best.